so guys it's been a while and i'm back with another video so in this video i'm going to flash 4.19 custom rom which uses a retrofitted dynamic partition let's begin with dynamic partition dynamic partition uses a single system partition let's say 10 gb and create three virtual dynamic partitions from it like system product system ext created from the 10 gb and now these three partition can change their size dynamically whenever they want or need to so now let's get into the flashing process so the very first step is to boot into recovery and then flash the custom recovery for 4.19 rom with support for the dynamic partition after that then just reboot to recovery that you flashed after that make sure to wipe system vendor and metadata partition then flash the room that you want in my case i'm using awaken os community build by who am i also ignore any warning that you get while flashing and formatting and ignore no installed OS warning as well just reboot normally and it should work fine if you followed the steps properly so as you can see the phone boots fine so now i will just complete the setup and then we will have a look at the features and customization of this rom so the setup has been completed and it is working fine as you can see for customization you will see some under different settings every extra customization is placed according to their respective settings for display settings you will get lock screen customization where you can change all of these settings as you can see here you will also get the option for the edge lightning and media cover art on lock screen which looks cool in my opinion and if we go back to normal display settings you will get option to change font icon shape and icon pack for system ui icons and on the bottom you will get display customization where you can find more customization here you can change brightness slider related settings you can change network speed indicator settings and other things as well as you can see here Under battery settings you will get status bar indicator option where you can change battery icon style and you can enable battery percentage indicator. So under gestures you will find some gestures like quick torch, power button options and some other gestures as you can see here. So the kernel version of this ROM is latest Sonix kernel which is based on 4.19 Linux kernel. Also the apps are very less and you get these apps if you don't restore the backup. Basic functions like flashlight and nightlight works fine. Flashing this ROM will also automatically change your data partition to F2FS and other partition will remain the same. So in terms of performance, it is pretty good actually. Here is Geekbench 5 score and the multi-core score is amazing. And it's been a while since I saw this much score on my Redmi Note 7. Last time I got similar results on Android 10 Reloaded OS and Sierra Droid 6.9x Gaming. You can watch those reviews if you haven't yet. Also CPU throttling test results shows pretty amazing result. And Call of Duty also runs fine without any issues as you can see.
For users who are concerned about wideband certification, then don't worry, it is still L1 and the safety net passes by default. So non-rooted users can enjoy without any issues either. Some bugs that I faced was my internal storage was fully occupied out of nowhere and the reason behind this is dynamic partition. But a reboot fixed the issue. Also stock video camera is doomed. First of all, video mode is zoomed in and if you try to zoom in and then zoom out, then nothing happens, it will only zoom in. So it is better to use Gcam as you can see everything works fine here normally. Overall it is pretty good ROM and stable enough to be used as a daily driver. So you get a great ROM with very minor bugs, performance is good and stable enough for daily use as well. So guys if you're going to flash this custom ROM then this would be a perfect choice as there are no major bugs only the camera one which can be ignored if you use google camera app. So that's it for this video don't forget to leave a like, comment if you have any questions and lastly subscribe for more videos like this.